What's going on guys, my name is Thomas Kovacic and today I'm going to show you how to color correct your GoPro photos inside Adobe Lightroom. So our first photo of the series is a photo of Madison from Big Red California overlooking a sunset. And as you can see we have nice light over here and then we have a dark foreground and part of a background. But we can salvage this and make this a very nice looking photo. So to start off we'll mess with the exposure. We'll bring it up a bit. Then we'll move on to the contrast. And then with the highlights, here's something I love to do. I like to blow out the highlights, bring out the shadows so you can get that foreground all nice and purdy, bring out the whites, and then bring down the blacks. So now without abusing the exposure, we can get our photo to look a lot brighter and a lot nicer. As you can see, that there's more detail in her hair in the rocks in front of her and even in the mound behind her which is I believe Snow Summit. Moving down to clarity we'll bring this up just a tiny bit actually go to 10 and we'll go down to vibrance and vibrance is key with these types of photos to get your colors going nice and I, I like to use vibrance over saturation it just has like a different tone to it but when I use one or the other when one's up, the other is down. Adds like a nice little look to it. And with this, you all probably know washing out the blacks. So we'll bring the blacks up. But then we'll bring it down. So we'll do this. Bring that down. Bring the midtones up. The highlights down just a bit. Make the midtones higher. And kind of adjust it until you think it looks nice in the way you want it. So about there looks good. We'll actually bring that down. And we'll bring up that. So there we go. So there's the first half of what goes in to making our photos look nice. As you can see, the, we have a lot more detail in the rocks. You can kind of see like the blue, gray, darker rocks. You see the water out here. And then we'll go down to the HSL tool. So with this, since we have the dirt back there, and the rocks up here are hair and the sunset, there's going to be a lot of um, confliction between the orange and yellows. So with this, I'm going to bring the oranges up and the yellows up just a tiny bit just kind of get her hair and then the sunset to have their own look. And then we'll go down to the blues, to kind of add a little bit more to the sky. So we're not just focused on the sun. We can see the whole picture and all looks nice. And then we'll go down to split toning, which is a very important tool, which can make your photo look really good, but it could also ruin your photo. So we'll go to the hue here. I like to bring the hue of the highlights to like a nice warm color. And then we'll bring that up as well. And the shadows I like to keep in the blue range, about like 200 to like 230. So we'll go there and bring saturation up a bit. Keep that up. And then with this, you can go either way. Like right now, it looks fine. It's nice and balanced because we have low numbers for our saturation. But you can either make it really cool. Or really warm, but we don't want either. But we want like a nice warmer photo, even though it's a chilly day. We have the sun out, looks warm, have a nice glow. We'll move down to sharpening. I like to make the sharpening like a good range. I don't like to go too crazy with it, so you can see right here, it just looks unrealistic. But if you go like below 30, I feel like that's a good range. Then we'll go down to vignette, and since we have a nice dark foreground, we can get away with this, but add a little bit of vignette to it, feather it out a bit, and since it's dark up there, we should get rid of those blues as well. Maybe, do, maybe go a little bit lighter on the vignette. So there you have it. So we took a nice dark photo and we turned it into a bright, glowing, and evenly saturated photo of Madison.
Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any comments or feedback. Let me know what photo you want to do next that's different from these other five. Check out my Instagram below. Check out the other links in the bio. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys later. Peace.